Hello everybody, my name is John Snedeker. I'm the clinical director and co-founder of the SARA Medical Group. And in this video, I'm going to share my own personal story. I'm a very active individual. I play a lot of different sports, extreme sports in the mountains, in the snow. And I have suffered my own injuries over the course of these uh, many years of, of having Lasara Medical Group. I've used shockwave therapy, I've used peptides to heal my own body. And I'm gonna tell a story about something particular, which was a shattered collarbone, uh, unfortunate injury that I suffered. In the beginning of 2022, I suffered an injury that left me with a completely shattered collarbone. For most broken collarbones, you can just elect to do six to eight weeks of relaxing and being in a sling. Unfortunately for my collarbone, it was so shattered that it was displaced in many pieces. And two days after the injury, I had to go into surgery to have a plate and 13 screws put into this bone to bring it all back together. I was told that it was gonna be about two months of time for the bone to heal and about total time, probably four months for the bone to heal with that plate on there. Immediately, I started a strict regimen of peptide therapies. Uh, peptides are amino acids that trigger different responses in the body. So for me, I was all about healing, trying to have tissue regeneration, bone regeneration. Uh, and another one I wanted to do was stimulate my own growth hormone production and release. Uh, growth hormone is a great tool for healing the body. So for the first two months after the surgery, everything was going great. Uh, my physicians were really happy about the progress I was making. The bones appeared to be healing. Uh, as you can see in the x-rays, the plate is sitting perfectly on top of that bone. And I was even told that it appeared the bone was healing faster than they had seen previous patients uh, that had the same type of injury. Unfortunately, about two months into my healing, uh, one morning I was reaching for some clothing in my closet and I felt something click. And what happened is the screws in the bone on the medial portion of the injury on the bone towards the center of my chest had start to well out uh, inside that bone and that caused the plate to pop off. Um, so in this x-ray you can see actually where that plate is suspended on top of the bone. When this happened, the partially healed fracture uh, underneath that middle portion of the plate refractured and I could immediately feel this sort of bone on bone clicking back and forth which I was left uh, essentially back to square one with this fracture of bone. I ended up going to a couple different physicians to get some opinions on what to do. For the most part, everybody said, you need to redo the surgery immediately. Uh, this plate is not doing its job. It's supposed to be holding this bone in place and your fracture is so bad that it's not gonna heal without uh, redoing the surgery. That would have uh, basically run the clock back and have to restart this process over. Um, surgery is obviously really intense on the body. So I decided to take advantage of the treatments that our practice LSR Medical Group offers. So with Shockwave, you can stimulate bone regeneration uh, to happen. So for me, I started to do a weekly Shockwave treatment over my, my clavicle. Um, I continued on with the peptides and slowly but surely, this bone started to reach its little fingers out and start to come together. So my physicians decided to let me keep going on with the treatment that I was providing myself. So I continued on with this strict regimen of peptides. Slowly but surely, this bone started to heal. Um, I ended up having uh, two CAT scans to confirm the healing. And then fast forward, a few months after this, my bone was fully healed. Sticking to my strict regimen of shockwave therapy and peptides therapy has been the best decision I could have made for myself. Uh, doing all that you can to avoid surgery, frankly, in any situation is best because your body is equipped to heal and giving it the things that it needs, whether that be stimulus with shockwave or peptides to fuel the reactions that need to happen for your body to heal, there are options out there. So now that I've gone through my own procedures, I've even been able to have the plate and screws removed completely from my shoulder and my mobility's come back, my strength has come back, and the last thing that needs to be healed is now just the scar. So I'm still continuing to do shockwave therapy uh, to help stimulate more bone healing where the holes were, where the screws were. It's also helping to relieve a lot of the tension of the scarring. Uh, when you have scar tissue from a surgery, it's really tight and it makes that skin uh, hard to move around. Now that I'm shocking it, that tissue is starting to release a little bit and starting to become softer and the mobility is starting to come back. For anybody else that is having problems with pain, whether that be tendinopathy, 
broken bones, uh, damages to a muscle, or keeps you up at night, you can't sleep. Consider looking at shockwave therapy and even some of the peptides that we offer. They are an amazing tool for healing the body. The other great things about peptides is they are extremely safe and they keep pharmaceuticals out of your body. Uh, most of the pharmaceuticals that you'll come across are all about suppressing pain or keeping what other symptoms you have sort of off in the distance. Whereas peptides are all about going head on and creating change and healing the body and there's literally no risk to you. Peptides already exist inside of our bodies. There's over 7,000 of them. All that we are doing is adding a little bit more of that specific peptide to your body to give it the extra boost it needs to then create the reaction or reach the goal that we're looking to reach. If you have questions about my experience, uh, if you have questions about any of the testimonials of the patients that we've treated and you want to learn more, whether you're in California or somewhere else, we'd be more than happy to provide guidance to you, some advice, and we hope that you are on your own path to healing and feeling better and getting back to the things that you love to do.